Yeah, the reason why I uh, uh, decided to talk about Shoto Shimamoto, uh, he is definitely not defined as a media artist or a technology artist, but uh, is that uh, I sometimes uh, find it difficult to speak in a, a broad cultural context when I was invited to speak in a situation uh, focusing on the media, technology, and things like that. There are some common ground uh, for all these uh, 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 symposiums or sorry, some events. So, uh, so this time I deliberately uh, <laughs> try to mention uh, something uh, not very uh, usual uh, to be mentioned in this situation. But yes, you uh, found a very nice mm, term. Yes. You found a very nice term, which is the network, which is a term that he actually right. uses in his work. Yes. What does he mean by that? Maybe you could elaborate a little bit. Well, uh, network, according to Shimamoto-san, he, he, it's uh, it's not an uh, kind of struct, kind of any structure or some some uh, mathematical structure or some net uh, kind of uh, social structure or something like that. It's uh, more like a kind of. Uh, uh, the word for him to allow uh, to describe the, 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 the broader sense of possibility, uh, which happens to be, you know, uh, take place in the context of art in his uh, case, because he, uh, he teaches art. Uh, he, he used to teach art at the art university, but uh, actually he didn't care about being a uh, teacher of painting and art. Uh, what uh, interests interest him, him most is uh, that uh, the relations between uh, human beings and uh, when someone like him uh, starts uh, some pro t totally unusual project, <laughs> it sometimes makes uh, some other people happy because uh, many of the students who uh, comes to him are some of them suffered from their own uh, way of life in the school and office and some some business world and yes. they found uh, uh, totally new possibility in themselves huh. in terms of shimamoto -san. but he was referring to himself as the network and yes. the people he worked with or on or mm. were kind of like the subjects in a way so it was mm. almost sort of transcending his own position as creating artists and mm. just the structure that he was like providing the structure for people. Because I think you were aiming a lot on uh, triggering freedom or yes. uh, encouraging people to mm. develop creative mm. freedom. Mm -hmm. yeah. so maybe the network is a word when uh, he, he uses, when he looks back uh, what he had done with all these people. It is not a work of art. The work of art is a final product, but it is not important. And uh, maybe network is uh, the second best uh, uh, term for him to uh, describe all these uh, things happen. What would he say to networks like Facebook? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a network in the normal meaning we, we know. Huh. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I uh, try to mention network in a quite in a totally unusual, different way, because uh, nowadays we are uh, supposed to live in the world of network, and it was uh, enabled by all these te digital technologies, and uh, it is a wonderful thing in itself, but uh, at the same time, we have to think that uh, uh, what we lose all by, by having all these convenient machines and the internet and net network. Mm -hmm. so, so in order to think about what we, what is lost in all these super high technology society, uh, we have to, we, I think we have to sometimes look back to the different age, like in the 1950s or uh, so. Hmm. I think one point that became clear also in the discussion is that he was aiming at fluid networks, hmm. not structures that get yeah. into position to earn money mm. and, 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 and freeze. Mm. I think it's more like this I don't know, fluent, right. transcending approach to yes. its own mm. structures. Mm. Thank you very much. Is, is it good? <laughs> yes. Thank you.